Look at that, wide angle. I'm probably not gonna go that wide. All right, ready? So lately I've been trying to put together videos that might provide some insight to what it's like living in a van. And so I've been thinking about like, okay, so what are some things that I've been doing on a daily basis that might be interesting to people or people might be curious about? And when I thought about it, one of the things that I'm consistently doing is using water. So for this episode, I'm going to show you how long those 33 gallons last. I'm Ben, and this is Dog Fan Stan Land. <laughs> right, so I've been living in this van for quite some time now, a little over two years. And over the course of those two years, I've learned to be somewhat efficient with the amount of water I use on a daily basis. And I usually only have to fill up my water tank every week or week and a half. So I thought I'd start out by showing you exactly how I fill my tank up. So this is my bag with my hose, and that's how I fill my van. It's a 25 foot expanding hose, so it expands them to 50 feet. And in the bag, I have some chain lube. <laughs> I don't know why that's in there. The little spray head that it comes with that I never use. The hose with a little key. And that opens up my uh, fill gate. This hose has a little shut off head. See that there? You keep it closed, attach it to here. So then when you kick it on, this starts to expand. So the cool thing about that is you can pack it down into a small size and then get some good distance on it once it's filled up. And it's good to have your own hose because you don't know what other people's hoses have in them. You know, you don't know what they were using it for and if they've left it outside and if a bunch of bugs have crawled up in there and then you go to fill up your water and you end up putting a bunch of garbage within your tank um, or clogging up your filter. So having your own hose is a, is a smart thing. Now to fill the van. So this is what the little key was for, is to open this up. It has a mains port and a fill port. When I do fill, I just take this, rest it in there and turn the handle. So it typically takes like five minutes to fill this 33 gallon tank. And I think the flow on these lines that are these expanding ones is a bit slower. And I'm not gonna film all this. <laughs> Exciting. Now there's several things that I do throughout the day that suck the water out of that tank back there. But the main one is when I take a shower. I don't take long luxury, luxury, yes. I don't take long luxurious showers. I take bird baths or they're called military showers. Maybe that's not correct, but I go in, I get wet, I cut the water, I lather up, and then I rinse off. It's super bare bones, and I guess I can shoot some of it. So I have a Delta Faucet single spray shower head that uses about 2.5 gallons per minute. All right, shower time. I'm sure this looks insane. So, because it's winter, my water is really cold. And that means I've gotta run out the cold water, so I shoot it to the wall. And then as that's going, um, I just stand here and freeze my ass off. And then after a few seconds, it starts to warm up and then I rinse off. Why am I talking? I'm just gonna show myself doing it. And when I timed how long I have the water on when I'm showering, it was always around that minute mark, whether it be a hair short or a hair longer, that was about the average time that I had the water running. I'm stopping it. Oh, this is so unflattering. I'm gonna have to just fast forward through this because the sounds that are coming from me, rubbing the soap on myself is terrifying. And I only run the water twice, so I, run it first time to get wet, and then I lather up with soap, and then I run it a second time to rinse off. On average, I have the water running for two full minutes when I take a shower. All right. So that means 2.5 times two is five gallons per shower, which isn't a ton, but it is a decent amount of my tank. Dry. Then there's the repeated everyday tasks that I do, like brushing my teeth. Brushing my teeth. I got tired today. It doesn't take much to get the brush wet and then to rinse and spit. <sighs> Flushing the toilet when I pee.
Uh, listen. A little spurt. And then there's like washing my face or getting my hair wet to tame it on occasion. On the days I don't shower, I just grab some face wash and rinse it off in the sink. So there's that. I also use the water for drinking. Not only do I drink it, but the pets drink it. Here you go. And then there's the times when I use water that's not every day. So that's like washing the dishes or cooking. And I try to like stockpile a bunch of dirty dishes and then do them all at once rather than like rinsing one at a time every time I eat. Uh. And then with cooking, you know, when I cook, I only do it once or twice a week because when I make meals, I usually do like a larger size meal and then I bust it up into a few days. So I'm not like cooking every day. And then at one point in time, I was using a decent amount of water to like make coffee and stuff, but I've recently cut down on that. But if you're a big coffee drinker, that's something to keep in mind. So with all that said, I decided to film myself every day until I ran out of water. Super exciting. I know. Uh, I wonder how I look doing this. Ooh. Get a little goop. Try to tame it. Tamed. Oh, rinsed my hands. Use a little water there. Shower time. So as we wait. I'm a maniac. Turn it off. Part of my ears, Brush my teeth again. Brush my teeth again. <laughs> my hand. Flush water use. Freezing cold, freezing cold. Ah, water, doing more dishes, great. I'm bird bathing them. <laughs> Shower time again. Today is a shampoo day. Hymns. Getting gross. Woo. I usually use more water when I have to shampoo my hair. I also condition it and I'm just about out. Clean hair. It's getting redundant. <laughs> okay. You guys ever watch Adventures of Timmy the Tooth? Brush Brush and uh, Cavity Goon? Do I look cool? Uh, more drinking water and my teeth. She usually so quick. Yeah! So you're just going to want to gently apply the facial scrub. Because you don't want to scrub too hard. Placebo. Never, ever, never, ever. Fourth and final shower. Well, we'll see. Uh. Still cold. I don't pee in the shower. I pee in the toilet in the shower. Teeth brushing. Brushing my teeth. Got a new toothbrush this time. Ooh, ooh. You. Ow. Dish washing part three. Clean again. Being. So after about nine or 10 days, I really started to notice that I was getting low on water. And I knew that because the pump was taking longer to pressurize my lines and then cut off. Still hanging in. And the pump turned off. All right, well, we're still going. There was a couple times where I'm like, I'm out, I'm out of water. And then I would run it a little bit and then shut it off again and then it would get pressure. And by that point, I had taken four showers. And that's about average for what I get. I'll occasionally get five showers, and I think I've lucked out one time where I've got six total showers. But that was because I was like showering every day and not doing much else with the water. But I decided to take a fifth shower to see if I would run out of water. Here we go. This is the fifth and final shower. I'm almost positive it's gonna run out before I even like get wet. <sighs> Well, we got pressure, so. Uh-oh, air in the lines. Still gonna do it. Who cares? It's gonna happen when I'm all soapy. You gotta be kidding. Okay, if I can at least wash my face off, I'll be fine. So then if I run out, I'll just have to jump out and uh, get more, get more water. Cold water. Should I push through? Okay, no. And I'm gonna. 
Armpit, armpit, back, butt, legs. Bonus, bonus round. You gotta be kidding me. It's still going. All right, five showers. Bonkers. And the pump still shut off. So I'm not out. Bonkers, man. Keep on keeping on, keep on keeping on. I had more water than I expected. And then I was just like, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna keep going until this thing's out. Who knows how long it's gonna take. But luckily it was only like another day. Okay, still going, brushing my teeth again. Yeah. I give up here soon. All right. Another night. I don't know how many times I'm gonna do this. So, I was washing my face for the night. Went to rinse my face like wash off and uh, the pump won't stop running, which means it's pretty much out. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna turn the pump off uh, and squeeze the last little bit of water out of it later, but we're this close now, this close. This is now day 11. Brushing my teeth. Water. We're about out. Dang, it is still going though. No way, it's gonna fill it all the way up in it. Oh, we're officially out. Let's see if I have any. I am out of water. That's it. From Sunday to now Thursday. So we hit 11 days. That's pretty good. 11 days on 33 gallons of water. And when you think about it, if you don't have a shower, you could really make 33 gallons last a long time. Because like I said, each shower I'm using about five gallons. So I took five showers, that's 25 gallons. That's 25 out of the 33 that I have. When it came to like brushing my teeth or getting my hair wet or washing my face or drinking the water and cooking and washing dishes, all of that, I only used about eight gallons. So if that's all you're using your water for, you can make something like 33 gallons last over a month easily. All right, that's it. I thought this video was gonna be like three minutes, but then I ended up recording myself for <laughs> way too long. Thanks for watching. Do all the things that you do to help the channel grow so I can keep making these videos. And speaking of making videos, if you have anything that pops into your head where you're like, oh, I'd really like to know how that works, leave in the comments and I'll see what I could do. You know, maybe I'll throw another video together similar to this. And uh, that's it. Okay, all right, all right, okay, all right. I have a little welt right here on my head. Where uh, Rocky got me. We were wrestling last night, or yeah, was it last night? His tooth, you know, we were goofing around and he always like acts like he's gonna get me. And then I went and headbutted his tooth. Uh, okay.